Oh, hello guys, Winfrey here. If you're new, thank you for passing by. Subscribe down below if it's your first time. Now today I know I'm bare-faced. That's because I'm about to turn into some kind of vampire. <laughs> Not really. Today we are gonna go into the ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. Now, if you've not heard about this product, it's a very famous product. If you've not heard about it, you're in luck because I'm gonna show you or tell you what this really is. So, let's dive in. Now, before you use this product on to your, I know this has become a very popular product for people to use that they like to use. It looks like blood on your skin literally if you put it on your skin you're gonna see how it looks like and i'm gonna actually i'm going to show you i'm going to do it here that's why i'm here with you guys i'm gonna sh show you you're gonna see it so if you've not heard about um i can actually show you Let's see what it is so this is the product right here So, before you put this product onto your skin, you really need to know what it is. Because this is an acid, it, co it contains multiple acids. So you don't want to use this unless you know that it suits your skin. And before we get this onto our precious, beautiful skins, you need to know what this product really is and find out if it suits you or not. Now, the ordinary AHA 30% plus plus BHA 2% combines multiple exfoliants. These include AHAs, and AHA stands for alpha hydroxy acids. These are glycolic, lactic, tartaric, and citric. AHAs are water soluble acids made from sugary fruits. They will help peel away the surface of your skin so that the new, evenly pigmented skin cells can generate and take their place. So these exfoliate the outer layer of your skin. On the other hand, BHAs or salicylic acid, these are oil soluble acids. These go deeper into your skin cells to help remove dead skin cells and excess sebum. So this exfoliates the inside of your skin to help reduce congestion. Now, this formula stands at a very high concentration, which is AHA 30% plus BHA 2%. Now, that means that the mask will remove dead skin cells and debris that causes clogged pores, getting you three steps closer to a glorious skin. Now, this formula also contains Tasmanian pepperberry derivative, which is actually the one that gives it this red, blood-like look. So, this derivative is the one that helps uh, this helps reduce redness and irritation that's usually caused by the use of acids so when you're using this you don't really have to be so much worried because it contains that the tasmania it doesn't mean that anyone can use it but it only it simply means that it can low it lowers the risk of getting your skin burnt so with all that goodness combined in one small little bottle this product is going to help you reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles it's going to improve skin texture it's going to help fight visible blemishes it's going to improve um your skin's radiance and it's also going to help uh brighten your skin tone now this product is recommended for normal skin types normal skin types combination and oily skin types um uh, sensitive sensitive skin people should stay away from this product because it's it's gonna be strong on you. Now, the way you're supposed to use this product is you're supposed to clean your face first. Just make sure your skin is uh, clean and dry. Do not use this product on a wet skin. It's not recommended. So I just cleaned my face. I cleansed. So now it's all dry. And now we're gonna go in. Now keep in mind I've used this product. This is the third time of me using this product. So it has a tingling feel to it. So that's normal if you feel that tingling sensation. It's totally normal. You have to make sure that uh, you do not reach the nozzle onto your skin because that's gonna infect your product because remember you're using it and then you're putting it back into the bottle so I make sure that I do not reach the nozzle onto my skin
so the product is all distributed now we're gonna have to wait for 10 minutes not more than 10 minutes I'm gonna set a timer right here I'm gonna I've, I've set my timer just right about now and we're gonna wait burning it's not disturbing but all you need to know is it has that burning sensation like you just need to be calm you know that this is normal just wait for 10 minutes all right our time is up now i'm gonna rinse this off you're supposed to rinse this off with lukewarm water do not use warm water or cold water. it's recommend the website recommends lukewarm water so i'm gonna go and rinse this off already so i am back from rinsing off i like to use uh tissue papers to clean my face this is something i started using because i realized towels actually do keep bacteria so i would totally recommend you start using tissues for your skin so now our skin is clean and fresh now what you want to do after using this product so now that we are done rinsing off oh my goodness my skin really feels like this is how it feels so fresh i don't know if I, if you can tell that there's a difference instantly but i've been using this product this is the fourth time and i always feel there is that feeling that you get after using uh, this product i just love it feel so fresh my pores feel clean every time you use the peeling solution you're supposed to use hydrating products do not use your acids on top of this because this is an acid you wouldn't want to continue your whole routine with acids and that means um all the direct acids if you're using the ordinary products you shouldn't use all the direct acids from the ordinary and that includes your vitamin c so do not use any of those products so do not use any of those products you're supposed to use hydrating products now i have on here my hyaluronic acid plus b5 if you do not you can use this hyaluronic acid if you don't have it you can also use the hold up this is great for retaining moisture after using this solution your skin feels tends to feel dry now if you can look at my skin closely it feels really tight so you'd wanna put uh, you'd wanna apply hydrating products so that your skin does not really feel the tightness that is happening at the moment so i like to use my hyaluronic acid and then i also like to use uh, my rose hip seed oil this is a great oil for over like it's great for all skin types so this is what i like to use after using my peeling solution at night but if you don't have this rose hip seed oil you can go in with your um, moisturizer if you don't have the ordinary products you can go in with your any kind of moisturizer but it has to be um it has to be a hydrating moisturizer if you know what i mean now this ordinary this natural moisturizing factor factors from the ordinary is great thick in texture if you can see i'm gonna show you it this is very thick in texture but also lightweight lightweight on the skin highly moisturizing so if you do not have your hyaluronic acid I mean if you do not have your rose hip seed oil you can go in with your natural moisturizing factors or any other moisturizer you might have but as of right now for me i'm gonna use the hyaluronic acid i go in uh, with a few drops this is a lot <laughs> it's okay Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go in with my oil. Just a few drops. Enough. Just press it And now I am done. You can continue with your eye cream or eye serum and then your lip balm and you are good to go. This is this would complete my night. My nighttime skincare routine if I'm using this 
peeling solution and always remember that this product is an exfoliant remember it exfoliates the outer layer and inner layer of our skins so this is gonna make your skin more prone to the sun it's always recommended always do not forget to wear a sunscreen it's always recommended recommended to use a sunscreen in the am never forget to wear a sunscreen it doesn't matter whether you're black black people do get sunburns as well especially if you're one person who who's uh, concerned with skin pigmentation if you're not using a sunscreen you are not gonna see any results you should always wear a sunscreen when you're going outside especially while on this product Hope you've enjoyed this video give me a like if you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think of this product if you've ever used it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in my next video bye bye oh my skin feels so good see ya